All right, so how do these dice work? So let's say we're attacking these troublesome rebels here. They're in the clear. Normally we both roll three dice. With the pub battles dice, we've got three for each side, but we're only gonna roll one. So instead of applying modifiers, we're just gonna pick the right die. Which one do you pick? The three die is the normal one. I'm looking at the red Roman numerals here in the lower right corner. Hopefully you can focus on her. <laughs> Hopefully it's focusing on these. So it's got two, three, and four. So for this combat, both sides are gonna roll three die. Big number in the middle are the hits you scored. So in this case, they both took two hits. So they're both gonna flip and run away. All right, now let's say our defender has cover. So he's, they're up on this hill. We're attacking, or maybe, maybe they're in the woods here. I'll put them on the hill so you can see better. Colonial still roll the three die. British are gonna drop down to the two because that's minus one, right? So instead of applying the modifier to all of the die, dice results, you can think of it like you're, you're applying it to the, the die number. So, so this is normal fire. This would be bad effect if we're attacking them in the flank and clear we would go up to the four die while the colonials drop down to the two die, right? Now these are also cumulative. So if they were up on the hill, as the British, we would be plus one for flanking, but minus one for the hill, right? So that would put us back down to the three. Colonials, would still be on the two die because they're being flanked. Pretty slick, it's a lot easier. All right, now what about dragoons? So let's say we're, we're fighting here. We pick the same dice like we would normally based on the train. The colonials here just have infantry, so they'll, they'll fire like normal. We're going to, instead of counting the big, hopefully you can see this, instead of counting the big number in the middle, the dragoons are gonna use the little number in the upper right. So in this case, they'd score one, two, what if, here, here they miss a zero. What if they get, uh, what if they get no result? There's no little Dragoon number. If there's no result, you re-roll. You roll again till you get a number. So that's Dragoons, little number on the right. What about detachments? Remember, normally in the game, detachments just roll one die so they can only get one hit, right? So really all we need to know is do they hit or do they miss? A white circle number result is a hit. Any black result is a miss. There you go. <laughs> In fact, this is gonna be the exact same thing we do with our, with our HQs and altar rolls. How do we do that? We're gonna pick the die number that matches our HQ rating. So Cornwallis here is a four. So he's gonna roll on the four die. White result means he's successful. Black result means he fails. Easy. There is one little exception. What if you get a red circle result? So if you look closely here, this too has a red circle around it. 
If you get this result, it means you've done really well. You've got a two, you might get a three. So with the red result, we're gonna re-roll. If we roll, we roll again and we get any other two results, this two hit loss is gonna upgrade two or three. So you're gonna count it as three hits. If you get a red circle one, that means you've done really bad. So it's kind of in reverse, right? So this one might actually degrade into zero, a total miss. So we're gonna, we're gonna roll that again. If you get a, if you get another one result, any other one result, this one is gonna downgrade and in, into just a total miss. If you get anything else, then you, you'll just, just treat that as if it's a, just a one step loss. There you go, that's it. I like these dice. They speed up the game, make it easier. I think they look pretty cool too. Another interesting fact, these are very similar to Kriegspiel dice. They're patterned off of the, the same approach Kriegspiel used. So it's like a, a new technology to us, but actually this is a little bit of old school technology. It's pretty cool.